Hello and welcome back, you absolute fantastic people. How is everyone doing today? I don't know why I ask open questions, because you can't respond to me except in the comments, so it's not right now. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. We, today, have to organise ourselves with down here a little bit. So I, I put in a, a little drop and a bubble elevator so we can go boop. And then when we want to leave, we go shoop and it shoots us out, which is nice. Uh, I then moved them all down here, tidied this up a little bit, and they're all good. So now what we need to do is we need to acquire some jobs for them, like set them with jobs, and then um, start basically like grinding out some stuff for them a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing we did at the other place, which is we're going to make a couple, at least one a Fletcher, I think, because a Fletcher is a very good role to have. I think we should make one a blacksmith. We're going to take all of our emeralds as well. Because we're going to be doing some trading. So we're going to do two of this. We need some flint. Which we may or may not have. Two flint. Lovely. So let's just make what we can right now. So it's one and then two. I like how these, um, these are made by the way. They're very easy to remember that it's just like two things above a crafting table basically. Uh, we've got a farmer already because we need the food room, but that's one of the things we're doing this for. Uh, and I think I want to make sure that he's trading potatoes because I have a lot of potatoes. Um, that might be something we should bring down with us, actually. Let's drop off some of this stuff and bring a load of potatoes down with us. Um, because potatoes are very easy to harvest. And then what I'll do is I'll convert this into probably just a huge potato farm and it will be job solved, basically. Um, actually, come to think of it, we probably best to do that now with the potatoes we have spare. Yeah, okay, let's let's do that now. Um, because we what we don't want to do is we don't want to start trading it all and then have no potatoes. Although we got tons of bone meal, it's fine. We'll do that in a second. Um, so we've got that, 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 and then I think we'll leave the third job for now because the third job will be a um a library librarian of some sort. So. I was thinking realistically, I'm just going to put the jobs out here for everyone to enjoy. This is the main guy that I want to get right, because he needs to be potatoes. Potatoes, I said. Potatoes. Perfect. Lock him in on potatoes. And you know what? Beetroot's not that bad, actually, either. So maybe he won't be the worst. This guy is on the stick stuff. What are you trading for right now? Coal? It's not the worst one, is it? I can't remember what's a really good trade for him. Um, but of course, he eventually sells diamond tools. So, might not be the worst to sell some of that and then boost him to level 2 just to see where we're at there. This guy's now on level 2 as well and we sell pumpkins to him for an emerald. These are really good trades, actually. I'm really happy with him. Um, and then this guy is... It's not the worst, actually. 10 gravel for 10 flint. I reckon we can do some of that as well. Let's just pop up here real quick. What we'll do then is we're going to split this into beetroot and uh, potatoes. Half and half. So that then we can trade all of that to the guy downstairs. Because we've got some beetroot here anyway. Um... And we'll just double down on that farm, basically. Uh, which will be good. Um, we've got more potatoes to sell, actually. I didn't realise that. Uh, so what was I up here for? What was I up here for? Oh, I was up here for gravel, actually. To just turn that all into flint. Um, I just want to check also about... Yeah, that's fine. So, but these are some really good, um, really good villagers so far, actually. We should probably also... Um, if I'm smart about it, turn this into a bit more of a pumpkin farm. Because we don't need that much, um, we don't need that much real estate anymore for other trades, basically. Okay, trade that for that, lovely. We could buy some apples off of him, I'm not really keen to do that. But this guy, we want to make sure we do it before, four for one, that's again not the worst. Uh, we just need to get an iron farm going. It's this guy, yeah. We want to make sure we keep this trade, I feel. I feel that's a really strong trade. Um, 
I don't know if it is. I'm, I'm really bad with this villager stuff, if I'm honest. But at least pushing him to his sort of limits there. And then we can let everyone sleep, basically, now. I don't know if waking them up is that bad for them or not. I do it. We're going to convert the farm now in a second, I think, is the, the next thing to do. Um, but they all sleep down there. I know they do. Lovely. Just one second. I think my screen's a little off. Perfect. There we go. I was doing some other recording and I needed to move it around a bit and I think it just caused a bit of an issue. So, as we said, we're not going to be doing this anymore. We don't need carrots, so we'll get rid of them. Do you know what we can do, actually, with the carrots? Is we can just give it all to them because there are some spaces for extra villagers and I want to make sure we don't ever um, run out. So let's just chuck those on the floor there. You guys can have that while I fix what I'm doing up here. So let's just remove this. Uh, and then we're going to, of course, get rid of all of this. And then remove this. Yeah, this looks good. And then we just need some... We do need some dirt. Which, weirdly, I've actually had probably the hardest time getting dirt on this playthrough. I don't have a lot of it. Um... One second. Let's just for now at least plant the beetroot seeds. We're going to need the bone meal. Oh, we've got some potatoes anyway. So let's just do this. Let's plant what we can at least. And he's a really good villager down there actually. I'm very happy with that if I haven't already expressed that enough for trading for like all of our farmed goods. We will eventually try and... Oh wait, no, 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 no. Uh, we'll eventually try and make him a bit more, um, what is it, organized and a bit more um, spaced away from everyone. Because sometimes the annoying thing is finding the right villager once you get a, quite a few down there. So we'll make sure that he's eventually um, sort of spaced correctly so that we can find him very easily. But I mean, he'll take, um, he will take pumpkins from us, which is easy to harvest and beetroots and potatoes from us which again like besides the excessive amounts of seeds but i can just chuck this into a composter oh we'll make a composter in a second oh look at this life is becoming good here we're finally getting i think once we can get him to golden carrots our food situation is sorted for sure um let's jump down we've got tons of flint on us now christ an obscene amount uh is that a baby i hear already Little Babby, there you go. Look at this, Babby. Beautiful. All of that's good. Uh, this guy, we don't have anything to trade for currently, uh, and this guy, we don't have anything to trade to, but we definitely are on the right track here. So let's pop back up. So now, if we really want to, if we want to get a load of emeralds really quickly. We do just have the means to just bone meal everything. Um, it's not out of our power at all. I mean, like, what? We've got the skeleton farm, so I can grind out more bones between episodes. But let's just maybe uh, just half sort our inventory a little bit because it's a bit messy. Um, there we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Oh, God, I don't need that. Um... Let's then... We need some dirt for one. We're going to go get some dirt. I don't know where from, to be fair. Maybe we can find some down in the mine. Down we go. Speed! Pull me down. Oh, there are... Yeah, I've not done too much down here. I've kind of avoided mining, if I'm honest. Because uh, I thought I would have died down here. This is where I thought I would have um, perished the most. Uh, let's see... Dirt. I need dirt down here. It's a real mess, if I'm honest. Oh, if I'd brought my sponge, that would have done us real good down here. It's because the ocean's above us, so, like, half of this leads just, like, straight to the surface. Um, like, I think this one leads literally, like, up to the surface somewhere. Yeah, and we don't have water breathing or anything on us. So we're just gonna, we're gonna just leave that. To its, to its own means. It's a very dangerous one, though. And I hate that jump. 
Um, I thought we'd have dirt down here. Let's just get back up then. I love bubble elevators. Probably the greatest thing they've added for just like speedy up and down. And I don't really want to go to the bottom of the ocean just to mine dirt. Let's just go here real quick. Get a load of dirt that we can because we need it to finish the farms. This island's just going to be floating by the end of this. Oh, hello. It's just a little, little alcove. Do we bring our torches? Oh, we're going to have to so make sure that water's covering a lot of this. Oh, our villagers are like through there. Let's just make sure that we don't leave. I like that the baby's already there, though. That's a really good sign. Let's just make sure water is all here. Because if there's water, I'm pretty sure mobs don't spawn. Is that is that the ruling? I can't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I thought it was. But I could be completely off and dumb. Oh, we need to make a composter. Yes, for all the seeds we're going to get. Um, we just wanted to... I took a whole stack, which is good. I just wanted to be able to do this. There we go. And then this. So that we can maximize a little bit. Should have a hoe somewhere, right? There's one. Silk touch. Sure. Noth nothing like a good gold silk touch hoe. There we go. And then this side is beetroots. So we need a little bit more seeds. We should make sure that we don't um, overstack on these. Because this is why we're going to get the composter. Because especially like we've got so many wheat seeds and stuff. Oh, and we're going to make a pumpkin farm as well, aren't we? We don't have any more pumpkin seeds. There's some pumpkin seeds. Perfect. Okay. Because we're going to need dirt for that as well. Um. Oh, look at us, honestly. It's like the industrial revolution over here. We are just now growing everything for sale. This will all float back up, right? Pretty sure it will. If it doesn't, it's it's not the worst loss. We have spare of all of this. Um, it's not really floating back up. Some of it did just sink. We still need to get the stuff for a um, beacon of the water. You know, that thing. But for now, we're okay. We don't need it, like, desperately. Let's just... And there we go. Lovely. Okay, so... I know there's an efficient way to do pumpkin farms, and I know there's a super inefficient way, and I know I always do the inefficient way. So let's think this through. Okay, hear me out. This row here will produce either on this side or this side. This row here will only produce on this side, and this row here will only produce on this side. So we will get the fastest drops possible based on the fact that they will constantly be trying to fill only those spots. Is that efficient? I don't know. <gasps> I did find something out, though, in the in between. We're going to go do it in a second. Because it was a cool thing that I learnt from uh, Tommy Gun. He commented about it. So we're going to go and I'm going to show you something, if anyone didn't know this already. Because it was very fascinating to me. So let's just make sure that these are all grown. So now we'll be getting pumpkins as well. Um, I need to get the... I need to get the the wet sponges, which I think are down here, because I left some here, too. Oh. oh, two babies. Okay, that's good, because I think there's two beds spare. Um, so I don't have that many on me, I don't think. But if we go into the nether, right, hear me out, guys. When we're here, bam, bam, they're dry. We've just saved ourselves multiple coal and time. If I'd known that sooner, it would have been great. Oh, please don't shoot me. We did not bring a flint and steel to relight that portal. Um, <laughs> but that was really cool, wasn't it? I didn't realise you could dry it in the nether like that. And it's so quick. And it doesn't even take a second for me to pick back up. Where is the rest of our sponge is the question. There is... Oh, my God. 39 wet sponge. But don't worry. We know how to fix this now. I do want to bring uh, the, the arrow that I have. And we're just going to try and kill that ghast in one shot, apparently. I only have one. Do I have one arrow? Come on. Give me another arrow. We've got tons of flint, though. And some feathers. We don't need 
Uh, we don't need to be given arrows anymore. We will just provide... Where did I put all that flint? There it is. Uh, we will just make our own arrows. Arrow. Ba-bam. And now we're going to go... Oh, and we're going to go and dry all this sponge off real quick. Uh, I don't know what the quickest tool for breaking sponge is, but we're going to go dry this off. And we're going to kill that gas because it will lose our portal otherwise. He will try. Boom. We only needed one, baby. We only needed one. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's dry all this sponge off super quick. Three, two, one. Drying sponge. This is so loud. This is so loud. This would have taken us so long. I don't know what's the quickest tool. This hoe is dead though, so... It's not a sponge. Pick. No, I think our hands are quicker. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, either way, that would have taken us so long to do in the real world. And it took us 10 seconds to do here. Mad, right? Um, I mean, it takes a bit of time, obviously, to pick it all up. But I still reckon this is quicker than furnacing it, right? It seems quicker. Um, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to make that... Um, we are going to make our composter, like our auto composter. So we need a couple hoppers and stuff. And we definitely need to work on that iron farm now that we know that that guy sells. I think it's like four iron for emerald. Like, I mean, come on. I mean, if we can just start pumping out iron through him, that would be pretty great. And I think we've got everything we need for the iron farm, if I'm honest. I don't think there's much. Should we check and see if he dropped a, a tier? Because they're quite valuable. Did you cry for me? Don't cry for me, Gastolina. You dropped me nothing. For that, your friend dies. He didn't die. You live this day, my friend. JK. Whee! Get owned, scrub. Oh, we're so MLG now. Whoop. Shit. I meant to do that. Whoop. Yeah, I meant to do that as well. Whoop. Yes. Oh, MLG. MLG. ML oh, he's, he's an absolute pro at dodging. He's a pro. That standstill approach. Got him. Wow. He needed to die. That was... Uh, don't ever look at me shoot an arrow again. Don't watch me. I see you up there. Um, perfect. So we're back. Look, pumpkins are already spawning. That's beautiful. We've got our, our axe. To go and deal with those. Let's have a little sleep. Then we'll make our auto composter. I wonder if we can compost chicken eggs. Because we have, I think, a lot of those now. We're going to see if we can do that. Uh, I need to make a composter. How do I do that? Just slabs. All slabs, baby. Composter. Done. That's the first step of making an auto composter. Making a composter. We also need wood for hoppers. Uh, which we don't have, really. We have enough for one chest there. And we've got one chest there, I think. That's all we need. Oh, we do need another chest. <laughs> it's fine. I'll work it out. I'll work it out. Let's just make the first chest. There we go. And then can we make it out of this wood, the warped vine? Can we do this? Can we just, like, blue wood to chest? Beautiful. Okay. So now we... The iron farm is working. We just now need to kill him. He's in water. He's slowed. He's not slowed anymore. He's not slowed anymore. We don't want to die again. He's going to kill us. It's a powerful bow. But he's a formidable foe. Ring around the roses. Kill the iron golem. He's dead. Die. Yes. And we will trade your corpse to your friends. Um, that got really dark, I'm sorry. Uh, I made a crafting table out here because I kept running inside. And I continue to run inside. We need two of these. Uh, wait. I can do this. Yeah. Two of those. And then we just need to basically do like a... Let's put this like here. And then we put this. Oh, do you know what we'll do? We'll do it one into the ground. Although, oh no, I was going to say the ground is going to be real shit. 
but in fact it's okay so we'll put this here put this here just so it doesn't have such a, a footprint and then we'll put this here and now we can just chuck these in here and they'll do that nice okay let's see if we can because we've got a lot of eggs can you compost eggs just real quick no <sighs> okay that's fine oh see look they produce them at such a rate. We will kill all of you eventually, and we will make a farm, and you will be our source of iron. For now, though, you live, because I'm not keep continually killing you. Um, yes, so then when we did that, we were supposed to do that, and then we can probably start to compost some of the stuff down in here. Uh, let's just um, go and choppy chop over here. Yep, just a real quick, like, whoop. And then, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Lovely. Do that. Cool. Uh, we might even sell some iron to that guy. Um, we need to organize our inventory a little bit. But let's let's just sort of decide on, on some of the stuff that's being composted. Uh, dirt can go in this, this chest. So can that and that. Uh, then we don't need so much kelp. Like we have an obscene amount of kelp. Uh, and nether wart. We don't need all of that. Uh, and then seeds, we have so many seeds, that'll do for now, um, and then we just come down here, and then we just go, oh look, more bone meal, because we don't need any of this stuff. Look at this, go, look at this machine. Industry right here, industry people. We can put a chest above it and of course then have a bit more of a bigger inventory, but for now, that's where we're at, and it looks great. And then we can just, like, when we want emeralds, just, like, come through quickly, just, like, smash all of this out, right? So that, look at me go. I'm, like, just absolutely smashing this game now. And then, oh, my God, really? Okay, that was a lot of bone meal. This is using a lot of bone meal. I don't think, arguably, the payback time is great on it. But we generate emeralds and bone meal from this. So, I mean, it's a win-win, right? And we can we can just sell it all. I mean the potatoes it'll all grow naturally anyway so like when we if we don't if we're not desperate we don't have to harvest it but then like we've got also just like i need to go and make a new helmet and a new pick which is going to make loads of bone meal so then we just do this and then i'm just gonna quickly emulate what it would be like if i was just like oh la di da my, my farm is full just give me, give me one second christ this takes forever i didn't didn't expect this there's no montage it's just me bone meal and crops also, if you like this content, please watch Paint Dry. <laughs> I'm not funny either. That's the thing. Paint Dry is funny. Like you can probably probably get a couple cracks out of that. But not me, no, no. Deadpan here. We are all about efficiency. Uh, yeah, efficiency. I was just checking what he was doing. Efficiency and nothing else. There's no time for humor here. Humor? 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 Oh, my God. I think I'm having a stroke, guys. It's okay. It's okay. I'll survive. Just call the police. Not the police, the ambulance. The police aren't going to help me. Although, they're probably... Can ambulances break down your door? I'm just having a mind melt right now while I'm trying to do something so boring and stay entertaining. But that is actually a real question. Can the ambulances break down your door? I don't know. Uh, but we come over here and we're like, oh my god, look. It's all done, basically. Oh my god. Yeah, it's actually all done. Christ, one second. Oh, wait. For the demonstration purposes, we don't want to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Let's just... Let's just... Ooh, okay, new day. Oh, look, my crops are all grown. Da, 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 da. And then just... Brrr, blitz through them all. Because the nice thing is about the potatoes is they don't have a byproduct, admittedly, other than potato. But they, I guess they're not as efficient because you have to replant the potatoes. Whereas with the beetroots, I just come in and replant the seeds and it's like, okay. And to save me like filling up chests and chests with like beetroot seeds, what I'll do now is as soon as I'm done, I'll be like, cool, beetroots are replanted. Let's just like bang, bang, bang. That's all done. And then we can come over here, harvest the potatoes, right? It's a fresh day, remember? We've just woken up, just woken up. Yeah, so many potatoes. And then, because we're going to be trading for golden carrots with that guy, we don't need them as a food source anymore once I finish eating these like cooked ones I've got, obviously. And then we'll have tons of... And we get experience from this as well. This is like a multi-level big brain move, right? 
no smooth brains here. And then look, we go, oh, we've got just like a fortune of potatoes, uh, a stack of those. And then we go down here and we go, okay, cool. Let's just get rid of those because I don't want to keep them on my person. Where is he? And then we just go, oh, hey, sir, have all of the potatoes. Cool. And you probably want all of these as well. And he goes, nom. We didn't really level up that much, if I'm honest. Um, we do need him to level up quicker. We could buy some apples off of him. Just for the sake of leveling, we're buying apples. I wouldn't normally buy apples. Okay, so now, now we can even sell him um, watermelons once we have... We need to put Silk Touch on here. And then watermelons are way easier to do. Um, we could also just buy a load of cookies because I don't have the watermelons ready right now. Okay, cool. And then he's going to level up again. This is just for, you know, the fact that, you know, the stuff. Okay, and then... Okay, one. Oh my god, the suspicious stews take ages. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then... And then he does this and then... Okay. And then we can now buy golden carrots in mass. Food source, baby. So, I think we can actually come up here and we can do move villagers we can do food we need to still do a tree farm because we've got no trees um, iron farm we still need to do but that's two things done um, what we can do is we can also go and grab this real oh my god we've got so much stuff on us um, and these suspicious stews are a real inventory killer. So let's just do that real quick. And then we can grab this. It's just for the sake of it. Just to like, just to humor, humor the guy downstairs for a second. We can come, uh, kill all of your kind eventually. And then I'm hoping that with all the iron and everything that we'll have, and the, I guess like enchants and stuff, we'll have really good standing for, uh, let's just, Two, three, four, five, six. Because he doesn't need much, I guess, to continue to level. Okay, and now we can get... I mean, it's not a bad axe sort of thing. It's not a bad axe. Uh, where did we get all that flint from? Oh, yeah, that was the flint we bought from him. Well, we bought flint from the other guy. So we now just need to mine loads of gravel. And then gravel turns into flint. Flint we sell to the guy. And it's like just a instant efficiency cycle oh my god okay so let's re bone meal block all our bone meal for a second because it's quite a lot uh, and i'm not gonna spend all day making things into bone bone mealing things just for the sake of bone mealing things um and then we can just like destroy a load of i don't know um I mean, we don't need to destroy anything, to be fair. We do need to make a tree farm, which will make us, in turn, more bone meal. Uh, we need more grass, ground, this. And we need to keep this on us, because this is what we want to hunt now. Oh my god, the efficiency in this, in this my brain right now. So big. So then we just build this in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's not enough. There is enough. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And now we can just, like... Five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. I like that. So then what I want to do... What I like to do is I like to recess this into the floor, basically. So let's just... Because if I recess it into the floor, you'll see what happens. Wait. So one, two, three... Oh, Christ. One, two, three, four, five. And then two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're going a bit, bit gung-ho here. Okay, right. Yeah. So then, so this is our five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, by one, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay. So this is our five by five, so then what we do, clear out all of this, 
this is you guys are gonna be like, how did he work this out? Just by just by being big brained. Um so then we just replace all of this obviously with dirt. In the most efficient manner, obviously, which is double stacking. Okay, right. So then we do this and this. I need that dirt. Dirt's very precious in this world for me. I don't care about the wood. The wood can go. I need the dirt. Damn it. Can't get back up. Ooh, gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. We might. Ah! Spooky boy. We need... <gasps> oh, I thought that was a Nautilus shell. I need those. For the thing. The the big project. Making the, the ocean beacon. Uh, so then we do this. And then we go back round again. Uh, we're just going to have to like clear that out real so quick. Uh, we go round. Uh, okay, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then let's just do this for now. Yeah, okay, and let's just get rid of that and do that for now. Okay, yeah, and then, like, I just, I want it to look a bit nicer. Sorry. I'm going to have to beautify, but, um, and now, what we can do is we can basically place all of them. All right, here we go. Here we go. And then we make a little, like, little hole here. Uh, I need some of that bone meal again. I'm such an idiot. Um, let's just do like half and let's not even do all of it as a half right and then we come here Ow. I think I'm going to have to look up a more efficient farm for that uh, I think it's diagonals if I'm honest so then what we do is we start bone mealing okay we start from the centre though because that's the smart way to do it Ah. oh yeah it's just pushed us down Yes, this is what I wanted, right? Sure. Uh, and then we come and we just slowly... Ah! Ah! Yes, this was... This was plan. All along. And then we can just real quick, basically, fix everything by then just, like, going around and just bone mealing it all, right? Okay. Place all of the... Maybe we place the saplings last. Maybe that's how I normally do it. Yeah, sure. That's how I do it, uh, because otherwise you can't get those inside ones. And then, right, and then, and then once you've done this, right, now you've got a huge, oh, fuck, one second. Let's just retake this one second. Retake. Okay, and then you've got a huge dense block of wood basically here. And it takes you, like, no time to chop at all. Um, and it's super easy. And when you pop up now... Oh, no. There's a breach. That's fine. Uh, and now, all I have to do is do this. And I'm inside it. I don't have to worry about the leaves or anything right now. Uh, just quickly break everything down real quick. I mean, it's not an efficient tree farm. Don't get me wrong. There's, like, plenty of people that have done those. This is an ollie tree farm. Uh, but we get tons of wood because it's a nice place. I mean, you can do it any size, but my benefit to this is it doesn't interfere with everything else. And when I want to replant it all, it's very easy to work out where I was planting the last time. Rather than, like, just picking a new spot every time and being a bit of a, a faff about it. It's just as simple as, okay, it was here, the 5x5, five five, place it all down, bone meal it all, and then chop it all down for big amounts of logs and then we can use these logs to trade with stickman oh my god we can use these logs to trade with stickman i mean yeah we can definitely do that i knew that from the start and we're safe in here by the way while we're we're mining by the way just another another positive to it is no one's coming in for us while we're here they're very much all on the outside and you just have to i normally what i try and do is i put blocks above this so you don't get these dumb tall trees um, but also the nice thing is mostly the drops are then contained to this as well they don't really scatter that much uh, and now we can just like go over here and we can like take this because we want it 
Actually, I don't know why I'm taking it. Let's just make another down there. Christ. I'm just going to slowly move stuff down here. I don't want to do that. I'm not living down here. Uh, and then we can just literally, like, do this. And then do this, right? Yeah. And then make a load of sticks by just going, like, stick. Stick. Right? That's the word. And then butter bing. And then come to stick man. And just do bam, bam. He's going to now level. Yeah, and look, now we can trade him gravel as... Wait, whose deal's better? Oh, his deal's better. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, and then we can just trade in more sticks, obviously, and do the whole stick man for life trading, basically, where we trade him nothing but sticks for the rest of his existence, and he has to live with it, because we are the all-powerful ruler, and he will buy our sticks from us. There you go. And now we've got the same amount of emeralds we start this episode with. But we've got a load of stuff sorted. And if you really want to uh, make your farm a bit easier, I would recommend just putting a little chest somewhere next to it for all the saplings and stuff. Because otherwise it's going to clog up your chests quite a lot. Um, so what we'll do is we will do... We will just basically... Um, we'll make another, another crafting bench. It's good to have them scattered in my head. Uh, and then we will just basically do here, here. Let's just... Come on. There we go. And then here, here. And then simply... We also get sticks from this guy, might I add. Um, which is a huge bonus. Put that there. Let's just do that. And then... We need one more. I forgot the maths for everything. There we go. And then we can just do bam, 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 bam. Put the saplings in here. Put the, like, apples in here because we don't care about apples. And then, yeah, you can just pretty much chill at that point. You're all sorted for, like, a solid amount of wood every time. Um, maybe put a, a torch in each corner just to keep it nice and lit up. Uh, yes. And now we've also got the pumpkins growing. Look at that. They're absolutely growing like mad. I might, uh, well, not might, I will, in the break, look up the most efficient pumpkin farm. In my head, this kind of makes sense because they're, like, trying to grow as much as possible in these spots. But it could be that technically just diagonals are just way more efficient for the same reason, but just efficiency. Um, but now we're growing uh, beetroots, uh, potatoes, and pumpkins. We do need to, at some point, also grow some, basically, watermelons, I guess, here would be a, a good shout. So that then we can... Do we have any more dirt left? No. From the great dirt... Oh, we do. Maybe we can, um... Maybe we can experiment ourselves without so much, uh, Googling. Because it'd be nice not to have to Google it all the time just to be able to sort of work it out. So let's just make the same sized farm. Oh, bastard. Um, so what is it? One, two, three, four, five by five, just like I've done everything else. One, two, three, four, five. And then it just goes out to here. Well, we've got 25, so that's definitely enough dirt for it. There we go. And then we can just, um, we need a hoe, obviously obviously and we'll do diagonals on the the um we'll do diagonals on the watermelons and then we'll see if they're a bit more efficient if they are we'll swap it so i think the way you want to start it is like that so that the corners are yeah i think that makes sense uh, and then, and then we'll just bone meal all of these real quick. There we go. That's one. That's two. This kind of looks more efficient already because there's more spaces where they're all trying to force grow to, aren't they? Versus here, for example, like this one is trying to grow here and here. So's this one, 
So is this one and this one, but these three are also all trying to go here, 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 and here. And then of course that repeats because then this one is trying to go here, here, and this one's trying to go one, two, three, four. Maybe this is more efficient already, having looked at it. Um, but we'll we'll do the research. Uh, this episode's run on really long, uh, but we've done a lot of things, so it's fine. Um, I don't think we'll call this done yet, because we still need to do the auto farmer. But, I mean, we've got a nice little tree farming area at least. I can sort of churn out some logs off camera. I will probably off camera make a new helmet. Um... I will try and get efficiency on the, uh, not efficiency, I will try and get silk touch on the axe, maybe. Um, and then I need a new pickaxe as well, because I don't really want to keep using this one for the daily driver. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy yourselves and have a wonderful day. And just tell everyone about this. Tell your mum, tell your dad, tell everyone to come and like and subscribe. And do the same yourself like subscribe comment it's been wonderful having you uh and i will see you in the next episode bye